Hello, Dr. Noob here again, today with a small experimental tutorial about gravity. So if you want to do a game about gravity, you are lucky because the Corgi engine can cover that one. So uh, what we have here is our sample scene and I have just copied with Ctrl D and have exactly the same scene again as you see same thing just different name and um, if you don't know how to set up a small prototype scene then you can check my l my tutorial that I just did one week before uh, if not it doesn't matter because it works either way with whatever scene you have as long as you have a character which can walk uh, so I have here my pixie character which has the normal abilities that you have when you create the character and do the auto build player character so uh, so come on let's test that yes you have here your character you can walk around that's it great now first of all what you need to do is to give our character our prefab you should give him the ability for gravity <clears throat> which has the strange name of gravity how much gravity have I said in this tutorial until now um, character gravity and here you have different things which you can tweak around later let's keep it as is for the moment so we can save that and then we need a gravity field let's start with the gravity field so you create an empty object and you call it very well and well our gravity field needs definitely um, a box collider which should be triggered but in this case I would also like to see it so let's create a sprite component but this is purely optional just for myself uh, as sprite I have my pixel here and I create that let's say 10 by 10 oh, come on. 20 by 20 20 by 20 so this looks good we can shift that here around and maybe put the set position to zero and uh, <clears throat> sorry so um, and for the color I would like to have it a little bit like that very well so you should see now here the gravity field and now let's add the collider that I just promised you before so the box collider 2d here under the box collider 2d you should see as always the green lines around it to define where it starts and begins and here comes important part just click on here so is trigger make sure that you don't have a layer here like platforms or anything like that because else you will never get in you will always touch it and we don't want that okay so let's save that great now um, just for cosmetical reasons I will put that just a little bit behind it so that we see only uh, where this force really will apply so now let's add the gravity zone script to it and here is where the magic happens okay let's just try it out how it looks if we just play it 
So we have our player which has now the ability to uh, use gravity. And look at that, there is a small arrow pointing down. And here in the gravity zone you see pointing up. So you see where the gravity will apply. And so if I jump in here, then you see I go into the field. And that's what we wanted. So before we go deeper into the gravity field um, configuration, let's talk about something. If you have followed my tutorial step by step, then you should be where I am, right? So at the moment I'm walking with WASD and I'm pressing only D and you will see now something. You see in here how I go in and out, in and out and if I leave it then I go in and out. So the reason is the moment I go into this gravity field then the controls are now on the other direction. So I'm walking here in and with the same button I'm going out. I'm going in and I'm going out and that's the reason why you see all that. So let's fix that. For that you need to go to your prefabs and to the pixie character and go down to your new ability which is called character gravity and just click here the gravity reverse horizontal input when whatever comes next to that. And you can read what it says. If this is true, horizontal movement input will be reversed when upside down. So that means if I'm not a lousy liar, then it should work. Yes, I'm pressing D and I'm still pressing D. So I go into the field and out of the field. Now we can start to check our gravity field configurations. So if you have here our gravity zone, then you have um, a lot of things which you can change. In this case, you have gravity. If you go with the mouse, onto it, you see the force to apply vertically at all times. So it means at the moment I was playing with minus 30. So if I play with minus, oh come on, no risk, no fun. So with minus 1000 then I think I will go up like it would be, I don't know, a magnet, a super magnet. So let's try that. Yep. Look at that. Great. So whoop. So this is something you can uh, tweak a little bit. I think I mean minus thirty looks reasonable. But uh, you see, you can you can really try to do something else. So you can maybe move that up and make something like really like a magnet field or something like that, if you would like to do so. So I think this is the gravity and well, you can also tweak around with the fall multiplier and the ascent multiplier in case you would like to apply, let's say he goes up faster than he goes down or something like that. Uh, should we do that? Oh, come on. Why not? Let's fall with 10 and ascent with 0.5. Now 0 0.1. I really want to see it. Okay. So I go here and you saw it was really quick. Oh, I don't even have enough force to jump with this 0 0.1 for the ascent multiplier. Don't forget ascent in this case it's the other way around because yeah, because of gravity. Good. So the next family of um, configurations are for the speed. So you can set up, let's say, um, the maximum velocity 
So let's say I would like that he walks very slow here for whatever reason. Maybe you want to have some honey on the top or something like that. Then let's put here five. No, come on. I really want to feel it. Let's put a two. So now if I try to walk in here, then you see I cannot really be very fast. So my limitation is on two. It has nothing to do with anything else and just a limitation to it. The next thing would be to tweak around here with the speed acceleration, but in my case, in my game, there is no real mm, acceleration. I mean, the acceleration is how long it takes until you reach the maximum velocity. And in my case, it's already very quick, so it doesn't bring anything to do that. But uh, let's say this one, the speed factor. So at the moment, if I go in here, then it's a normal speed but let's go for 10 come on 100 you know i would like to exaggerate again so what happens Zoop. Ha! have you seen that Jump. Whoppa, yeah. so you see we can here tweak a little bit um with the speed factor it was one i guess yep so the next thing would be slopes. Um, as you know, when you have the Corgi engine, you can define that you can walk on slopes and also depending which angle you would like to have. And here you can tweak a little bit around to, um, if you want to have a different value than you have with your normal gravity. Meh. I don't think that it really makes sense with my, um, scene that I have here. Uh, physics to the interaction experimental? No, I deactivate it. Why? Because it's experimental. The next thing to show is I guess down here where the gravity direction is. I mean, if you're interested in gizmos and really what this physics to the interaction means, well, we can talk about that later. But here you can really put whatever angle you would like to have your gravity applied to. So let's do it that way. And so we can go in there. And that's it. Good. The last thing I would like... Sorry. <clears throat> The last thing I would like to do with you is um, about the pixie and how he enters to the gravity field, but it has nothing to do with the gravity field itself, it has more to do with the character. So when you have the character ability here, you have the transition and you can have reset, nothing and adapt. I will put reset in here and show you something. If I go in, look at that. It was like cluck and he's shifted, cluck and he shifts. It's not really, I don't know, how, not natural. If you played something like uh, Mario Galaxy, then this is very stiff. If your game requires that, then you should have it that way. But I personally think in our case, I would go here for the transition to adapt. And let's now check it again. And then you see that there's just a smooth... Have you seen that? It's just a little bit smoother. It really... It, it goes a little bit down before... You see? Ah, it, it just smoother. So I like that. Let's keep that. So the next thing is actually very easy to do and very quick and there is not much thing, um, not much configuration to do. So let's create an empty game object with gravity point, not gravity falls. And uh, let's add a component. So I would like to have a sprite renderer to it and I would like to have a round shape for it. 
So this is great. Let's make that bigger. Oh, come on. I don't know if you see that, but I'm really starting to think why the hell is he putting something in set minus I don't know what. It doesn't make sense. I mean, those things gives you problem with the time, so please make sure that you don't have that. Okay, so let's put it in here and let's give him also a 2D collider. So I was talking before um, about Mario Galaxy and I will do such a thing. So this is the planet and let's put that on platforms. Let's save that and add the component gravity point. And the only thing you can really do here is extend the distance of the effect. So that looks good. And now if I play, then you see I go here and I go here. Now, what I had the trouble to find out why I had this issue was when I was just right under it and I was pressing a double jump. Then I just couldn't make it. Try it for yourself and you see it's somehow difficult. Sometimes just it works and sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the angle. I didn't know what the reason was. And uh, the reason for that and how to fix it is actually very easy. You go again to your pixie, you go to your ability, and in here there is the experimental rotation and there is the inactive buffer duration. If you click in here, he will tell you how long he take it takes before he really accepts the zone. And if I just put zero on it and it was experimental and you know my rule experimental is don't do anything on it you should always follow the rules that you put on yourself so now I can do it without any issue good that was it for gravity and this was the last time I mentioned that word. So thank you very much and see you next time for another, let's say, exper experimental approach to an ability. Cheers!